I'm Dr. Donald Gossett. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Uh, I have <clears throat> training in dentistry and specialty training in maxillofacial surgery. Uh, today we're going to speak about some fairly general aspects of uh, general dentistry and possibly uh, specialized dentistry and hopefully be able to educate you a little better on some of those topics. Today we're going to talk about dry tongue. <clears throat> what can cause dry tongue in people? Uh, dry tongue can be caused from a lot of different things. Uh, people can get dry tongues in the summertime from going out sweating a lot and becoming dehydrated. Uh, anytime you don't have the kind of water or fluids in your <clears throat> system, then it's going to cause a decrease in the amount of salivation and cause your tongue to be dry. Kind of that sticky, yucky type tongue. Secondly is you can have people who are on medications that cause them to dry their system up. Uh, diuretics, uh, <clears throat> any type of the fluid pills that people take for hypertension and various and sundry other reasons uh, can dry the mouth out and it can cause the tongue to feel very, very dry. <clears throat> and there are also certain diseases such as Sjogren's syndrome, others that can affect the salivary glands to cause you not to secrete as much saliva. And when that happens, you get a dry tongue also. Also, people with cancer <clears throat> end up with very dry mouths because the radiation affects the salivary glands and actually is the most sensitive tissue to the radiation causing them to have a dry mouth or not enough saliva. This is uh, Dr. Donald Gossett. I hope you enjoyed uh, the information to the point to where um, you may pursue dentistry or you may pursue uh, the benefits of some of the treatment alternatives.